I was working a horrible job, temp job, to save some money and try to start my adult life. Um, and then September 11th happened, and I felt this kind of sense of urgency. Right? Like I needed to make some decisions about what was going to happen in my life next. Um, my decision was to go back to graduate school. My time in graduate school just sort of mapped on to the evolution of the war on terror. By the end of my master's degree, which would have been in 2005, I was starting to think about, still thinking about questions of visual culture, but really getting interested in questions of citizenship. And by, when I started my PhD right, right thereafter, um, I started to realize that maybe these things were actually intimately connected, right? That there's a relationship between um, visual culture, popular culture, media, um, and questions of citizenship, particularly wartime citizenship. At the end of my dissertation research, the uh, September 11th attacks happened in New York City. I was there for that. Um, but that didn't have much of an impact on my work at the time. My work is on uh, rehabilitation from physical injury of U.S. military service members, uh, primarily who sustained a traumatic amputation as a result of their deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. And I've been working on that since about 2004. In 04, I think, my recollection is that there were 60 service members with traumatic limb loss as a result of both Afghanistan and Iraq. Now the number is over 1,000. It really comes down to this question of how people use pictures to make sense of really um, incomprehensible phenomena. Um, so violence, war, um, other sorts of atrocities. Uh, more and more we see that images are absolutely central to how we learn about the world. I was interested in how patients in the amputee patient care program negotiated with clinicians for what constituted basically a really good outcome. Like how do you know you're well when you've lost a limb? To lose a limb or to suffer a disabling injury or an impairing in impairment injury in the military compromises also your ability to you know, maintain your profession, to maintain your sense of self and identity. After Osama bin Laden was killed this past summer, um, my Facebook page was lit up by friends whose family members or who themselves had been injured in Iraq, but who were describing their injuries as having a new meaning, even though Osama bin Laden had launched his attacks from pa Afghanistan and was killed in Pakistan. So it definitely structures, I think, the sense of mission that many, many military service members experience as they go about their, their work. If it weren't for September 11th, what would I be doing? So it's sort of an impossible question um, because September 11th and the war on terror um, are so much a part of my work and my, my work is so much a part of me. It's just hard to sort of think those things separately. 